I'm here at St George's Pet and today we're going to be doing some pond dipping. What I've got to help me pond dipping is a long net, a white tray, a sheet so I can write down what I found and a pen and two guides. I've got one about amphibians and then I've got a really long one all about freshwater invertebrates. So I've already done a look around the edge of the pond to see what I can find. I've spotted two newts and lots of tadpoles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch them up, put them in the tray and then I'll video them so you can see what's in your school pond at the moment. So to start off with, I need to put some water in this tray. And I'm going to rest the tray on the stone edge here. Nice and close to where I'm going to be pond it in. I've got a long neck. I'm going to start off with just doing a circle stick and we'll work um, our way through until right at the bottom. Here is our first dip, which was a surface dip. Right, so looking at our identification sheet for amphibians, it's got a handy guide to what their spawn and um, the larva, so the tadpoles look like. We're going to compare this image here, which is of a frog tadpole and a toad tadpole to what we've got in the tray. Let's have a look. So for a toad, we're looking for all black and a frog, it looks a little bit more of a longer body. sheet. Which one do you think it is? They are toads. How many can you see from our surface dip? We've also got in this tray three of these animals. Let's have a look at our sheet. So it's in this area, this, sorry, this area here. And we can follow the key to help us. So can you see body segments on the back of its abdomen? Follow the key with no. Do the wings overlap diagonally? Let's have a look. I can't really see any wings. Looking at that point on the end of its body, it's quite pointy, so I'd say maybe diagonally 
Ah. Does it swim on its back? Yes or no? Let's have another look. Hi. Yes, it does. Let's go back to our key. Where are we going for yes? It's a greater water boatman. How many of those can we see in our tray from the surface dip? So I've started writing down. I'm going to separate this section into our surface dip, our middle dip and our um, bottom dip. So our surface dip, we had four tadpoles. They were our western toad. And our great, greater water boatman, I spotted three. I've also put in the two palmate newts that I spotted when I arrived and I did a walk around your pond. But we'll see if we can catch some in our middle dip. So here is our newt, along with a lot more tadpoles from our middle dip. I've also got some different plants that we didn't have from our surface. And that's because when I went in to do that dip, I went underneath these plants here and gave it a good bit of a shake to see if there was anything underneath their hiding and there was a very big newt so see if you can count how many tadpoles we've got now now remember we had four from our surface dip so the number that you get you need to minus four and that will be the number for our middle dip so let's have a look at our newt's tail. Can we see kind of like a really thin bit on the end? Oh, that's maybe better from the side. This time we've caught a few different animals. We've also got a decaying leaf and I can show you um, where the animals have been eating it. So here is our leaf and you can see the areas that are still brown have not been eaten quite yet but there are areas that have gone slightly opaque see through and there are holes in the leaf and that will be lots of animals at the bottom eating it away. We've caught more tadpoles but see if you can spot something that's new in the tray. Something quite large. Here it is. Let's see if we can find out what this one is here. So we're going to start off down here 
does it have one or more tails? Oh, while it's sitting still, I can count one, two, three tails. So, does it have more than one tails? Yes. And then the next question in our key, does it have more than one tail? Yes, it does, because we counted three. Does it have two tails? No, it doesn't. It has three. Are the tails longer than the width of the body? And we've got some images to show what that might look like. So let's have a look at those tails. God, it's hiding under a leaf. Let's just move this leaf. They're quite short tails. Let's go back. So at the end of our key, are the tails longer than the width of the body? Yes or no? No. This is a dragonfly nymph. Hiding underneath there. And you can see its head really clearly. And it's ready to become its adult stage. You can also see at the back, that back body, it will become wings. when it reaches its adult stage. Now they didn't grow or hatch this big. They are, they hatch a lot smaller and as they grow, they shed their skin as they get bigger. And looking at this size compared to everything else that we've seen so far, this animal here is a predator. Let's hope they don't eat any of our tadpoles that we've got in the tray today. So this animal here, it's got three tails. Oh, it's so quick. Three tails. Fly so now that we've done our deep dip and I've finished writing what we found on our sheets, it's time to put them back. It's getting a bit windy, the sun has gone away, it ha it's not raining so that's good. I also need to give my tray a good rinse out. Just in case there's anybody left stuck, I don't want to take them home, I want them back in the pond. Well, thank you very much for letting me come visit your school pond um, and let's see what else we can find.